You've got millions of people out there watching. You've got an audience captivated by your story. What, what do you want to say to, to people out there watching? The drunk driver he hit a mailbox and a telephone pole and then hit Andrew. When I actually woke up, I said, well, you've shattered your pelvis. You have six fractures in your arm, and your leg was severed by the pelvis. This was hard to just accept this way, right? <laughs> yeah. I won't be able to swim anymore. Why can't you swim anymore? You can do anything you want. As a child, Andrew managed to overcome his cerebral palsy. His disability, he learned how to walk without leg braces, but at the age of 19, an accident with a drunk driver landed him back in a wheelchair without a leg. But Montel Williams took on his own personal medical battle with MS. He knew Andrew could accomplish anything that he set his mind to. We're going to take Andrew right now to the Clearwater Marine Aquarium, where I want to introduce Andrew to a very special celebrity here in Florida, a little dolphin named Winter. That's something in common is the fact that she had her tail fin caught in a crab trap and ended up losing her tail fin. But guess what? We're getting in the water with the dolphin. Hi, uh, <laughs> oh, Winter. Hi. That's beautiful. She's missing her tail flutes, but she's also missing several vertebrae as well. Her wounds were terrible when she came in. Just like me. I got hurt just like you. I lost something just like you. Let's get in the water. Let's do it. This right here, that's her prosthetic. This story is going to be like your story. Because if she wants to use this swim. prosthetic, swim with the prosthetic, I'm going to have to come and follow the suit. And you're going to be doing it, buddy. I'm telling you. It's magical. If she can learn to swim with a prosthetic fin, then I can learn to swim with a prosthetic leg. Everyone, please put your hands together and welcome Andrew. But you know what? This, it's ingrained in my psyche forever. It's that smile. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you gotten to the point, Andrew, where you went through that phase where you talked about all you wanted to do was just sleep? Yeah. But have these experiences, visiting with Montel, has it, has it brought you to a new place? Absolutely. Um, with this accident, you clinch on every attribute that can, that can keep you going. So whether it's other inspirational stories to being on this show or hanging on to the hope and knowing that I'll walk again and just going to therapy and hitting it hard. Um, absolutely. So, you know, there's an amazing thing that's in common with me and Montel and it's that we both suffer from a disability. But it doesn't hold him back. He still pursues his life just and, as and much as I do. now, right? You can get out there and do whatever you want. I always have, but much more so with Montel's help. And I, and I wish I could say that I'm the one who did it but the conversation that we've had, his mom, his father, the people that are around him every single day that keep shoring him up are also people that are helping to solidify that thought in him. I, mean, I, I will tell you, the one thing that I enjoyed the most out of this is when you saw us walking down the street at the site of the accident. That's the first time you've been back to, Andrew's been back to the accident site. You went there two times before with a hood on and covered up your eyes. If you saw the tape, when we were across the street and you were pointing across the street, that's where it happened, he looked like a, like a statue. As soon as we drove across the street and you stood in that spot, that's when that smile came back. Because I think he realized we were going to bury that accident that day. And we did it, did we not? Absolutely. So I, I do have to ask, what happened at the trial? The driver who hit me was sentenced to eight years. Um, and at that trial, I spilled out what I had felt and what he put me through and the pain and the fractures and the devastating news of waking up and hearing your leg's been taken from the pelvis. So I addressed him and I faced him. And honestly, I've never looked into a young adult as lonely and lost 
as I did yesterday. Uh, when I first came in to go and give my testimony, what he had put me through, I looked over and he looked at me. And I was taken by that. So, yeah, I broke down and I talked about the things the doctors had told me and losing my appetite and just quitting. I mean, for the, honestly, the first time in my life here, it, it, was, it was just me. You know, I was standing on the sidewalk. It'd be different if I was doing something wrong. But it was his dumb decision to plow through me. And I addressed that with him and that's, closed that casket, too. Can I tell you, that's something else that you said to me. You want to address that with other young people across this country because, you know, it's important that they see. You know, it's so often that people just walk out, get in the car. You've had five drinks, six drinks, four drinks, three drinks. You think you can handle it. This is what we're doing to people. This is your show. This is, you've got millions of people out there watching. You've got an audience captivated by your story. What, what do you want to say to, to people out there watching? It's heartbreaking that it took an accident like mine, or that did, that's going to bring such awareness out. And it shouldn't. But whether advocating against drunk driving and bringing this awareness to young adults and parents and moms and wives and doctors and lawyers and whatever the case may be, whether the line starts with me or I begin it or I end with it, you know, I'm going to go in with it with about face. And rock on. And we have Ryan Russell here. He's a certified prosthetist from Hangar Orthopedic Group. He's been consulting with us on your case, Andrew, and, and I know, Montel, you have something special you want to... The Hangar organization has agreed to pay for your prosthetic. And to give it to you. And so, Ryan, t tell us... I got to tell you, Andrew, uh, on behalf of Hangar Prosthetics and Orthotics, we're not only going to provide you with the prosthetic leg, but we're going to be there with you every step of the way. It's a journey. And if you're up to the challenge, we're going to partner with you uh, to get you back walking. Uh, because he's a hip, hip disarticulation and because it's an amputation through the hip joint, there's no femur. And we don't have that femur bone and that part of the anatomy and that musculature to use as a means of interface for the socket, the part of the, the, part of the prosthesis that the patient puts their leg into. But we also can't use that as a, as a means of suspension, actually holding that onto the body. So we have to design a prosthesis, uh, prosthetic socket that actually goes up over the pelvis. And we have to utilize that part of your anatomy to, to lock onto your body and allow you to not only wear the prosthesis, but control the prosthesis. And what was so significant about us going to see Winter the Dolphin is that Hanger created a brand new material because dolphin skin is so so uh, so sensitive they had to make a material that could hold that prosthetic device on so that it wouldn't rip the dolphin skin that material is a brand new material that you'll be able to use the form that'll be less um, what obtrusive to his skin and in his injury correct correct not only does hanger deserve a big applause the doctors guys it's, it's real. you guys, you guys, you guys. You, you deserve all the credit. Uh, well, well, just keep your head on, okay? Yeah. yeah. Big round of applause for Andrew. You know how many women out there would kill to be this close to you right now? <laughs> I mean, do you know, you know, do you know how many, you know how many, you know how many PTs and you know, tell Travis that I'm, I'm taken, but I'm kind of single. <laughs> <laughs> You're very flattering, Andrew, I must say. <laughs> well, I, I call it as I see it. But, Andrew, thank you for sharing your story Absolutely. with us. And thank you, Montel. Stick around. I will. I will. I'll come back. We'll be right back.